and welcome on Flyfish Fly Tying. Yeah, today I would like to show you another dry fly. So this is supposed to be a stone fly. And yeah, in terms of colors, you're pretty flexible on how to do it. So here you can see the fly. Um, yeah, I really like that pattern and I catched one of my biggest trouts on it in Norway. I really like this stone fly. So yeah, as a hook, I use a partridge dry lightweight and size 12. And as a thread, I used my Beavis and Black G0150D. Okay, make your ground windings and then um, cut your thread off. After you have done that, um, you dub the body with hairs, ears, blood dubbing, dark hairs, ear. Um, twist it around the thread. You can wax the thread, then it keeps a little better in place, I think, on the thread, but I didn't here. So I twisted and twisted and then make one layer after the other. The hairs ear here is pretty nice because you have some longer fibers in. Um, trim the body a little bit so you can brush it also, but uh, yeah, so I cut that off because I do not want to have them too long here, fibers. Yeah, then make sure that you make a winding to the eye of the hook because you really do not want to have rotating your flanks. So um, I use this mallet flank in 10 to create the wing of the stonefly. For that you put up some fibers and then pull them back like I did. Make sure they're equal to the tip of the fly. It's a little trimming and work on it, but once you have it, so tie it in and I just do two layers of thread and then I pull it through. So you could do probably three, but then it becomes pretty sticky to pull the material through. Then secure it then cut off the overlaying material and then cut at the tip of the wing. Yeah, and I think um, with this you have a very nice looking fly. You can use all feathers. You can use a grizzly feather, for example, too, which looks pretty nice. Just make sure they have long enough fibers to pull them back. Yeah, and then for the heckle, I use a grizzly feather here. I trim it off at the tip, so like here, tie it in, cut off the pieces you do not want to have. And once you have done that, um, use your heckle pliers and tie it in. I do not want to have so many heckles here. So just uh, three, four windings probably. Once this is done, then um, secure the heckle with the thread. And once it's secured, more or less done so pull that back and make your head a little nicer cut off the rest of heckles which are uh, where they not supposed to be yeah and then um, you can make your whip finish if you like uh, give it some vanish to secure the whip finish and yeah so then pull the fibers a little to the front to the eye of the hook and you're more or less done so um, yeah, very nice fly. So thanks for watching my video. And if you like, give my video a like or a dislike or comment it. Uh, I'm pretty happy for all subscribers. Thanks for all new ones. Yeah, have a good day and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.